Welcome back to Penumbra. Last time, we stopped right here. And I'm not very inclined to go down there. I guess I'll It looks as if this basement caved in some years ago. Something's tunneled through here more recently, though. Christ, what sort of creature makes the kings? Oh, spiders in small places. I don't know if I can go through with this. I think I can hear the pitter-patter of tiny... Oh no. Uh uh. Mm mm. Goodbye. Oh, I, I should maybe mention that I'm really not a big fan of spiders. And that was. This is. When the screen flashes like that, it means the game just saved. When a game saves, usually not a good sign. Or a game. away from me. Um, this is something I actually remember. I'll just do this right now. You need this to, to go back up. I'll place it. Left or right? Let's go up. Horrible sight. Luckily, it's mummified, or else the smell would have been awful. This noise is driving me. I keep thinking something's behind me. Day one. I begin this record, still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be of scientific value. Despite the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous, my aim is to remain secure until what help there may be arrives, and to that end I have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. I hope that the meager food rations here will keep me alive, and that those I hide from will not jeopardize that. Perhaps this mine really is cursed. It's almost precisely 30 years since the incident that brought us here, and now, 30 years on, fate has struck again. Day 3. I forecasted that today the rescue cures would arrive, but I can only hypothesize that they would be unaware of my location and hence busy themselves evacuating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go out in search of them. Day 6. My first mistake was to make assumptions on the matter of rescue. My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both of these assumptions and going outside of my safe haven. My best estimate is that I left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in search of aid and I have found only danger. I approached the old living quarters but curiously could find no sign of life whatsoever. I returned in what I thought was the direction from which I had come but soon found myself in an unfamiliar locale. Confused but focused, I attempted to make my way home, found myself threatened by some species of feral creature which seems to have made this old mine its home. Although the specimen bore significant interest to me, I chose to retreat, only to find myself outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beasts. I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process, which I believe now is most likely a sprain rather than a fracture. For some time I cowered and fled into the dark, but a few hours ago I discovered a door leading to a small, disused part of the mine, the key for which I still have in my pocket. Within that area I discovered this storeroom and I think it should keep me safe for some time. This place is a maze. My lesson learned, I will not venture out again, until I am certain the area is safe. Day 19. Rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supplies diminishing. Lots of spiders in this place. 
I do not like spiders. Day 34. I caught one of the accursed eight-legged beasts nestling in my open mouth when I woke up this morning. In my surprise, I swallowed it. It's not so much the act of swallowing which concerns me, but the genus of arachnid. It would be unlikely that a cave-dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility troubles me all the same. Day 35. Any known venom would have affected me by now, and so today is the first minor cause for celebration I have had since the incident. By lucky coincidence, this revelation also means I have discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. Are you serious? Oh dear. I intend to venture into the basement beneath this storeroom in the name of science to discover more about these creatures' natural habitat. Day 50 For four days now, I have been surviving solely of the quite considerable sustenance provided by the spiders. For some time I was struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. However, Lady Luck smiled on me once more when the, when the batteries in my torch died and I made a second life-saving finding. The creature's natural habitat is the dark. With my light now diminished, I need only lie still for a few minutes and I will have attracted enough of the beasts for a rather hearty meal. Good lord. No thanks. This is where I came from. Yeah. Found the ladder. Okay. This that steam could blister flash from bone in an instant. I know because I've seen it happen. So we gotta be careful here. Oh, we can manage. Day 61 My earlier assumptions on the benign nature of my cellmates may have been made in error. After careful autopsy, I am concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemicals stored in the stomach, which, if ingested regularly over a period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. My only real chance is to break out of here and raid any stashes of supplies I can find, however the evidence against such a move is insurmountable. 1. I have no source of light. 2. I swore to myself I wouldn't leave until I heard human voices outside. 3. The spiders are so tasty. Day 100. From the marks I have been making on the walls and my scribble diary entries, which in the dark may amount to an illegible scrawl, today is the hundredth day of my new life. Over the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive and have swelled in number and size. Whether or not this is a result of my plundering their ecosystem, I am unsure. However, at this rate of growth, they will soon be too large to crawl through the gaps in the walls. For all I know, I could only be seeing the tip of the iceberg. If all fails, and I am never recovered, I hope at least that my study of, and indeed involvement with, these fascinating creatures will one day be regarded as an important point in natural history. The greatest names in modern science got there, more through fluke than talent, and appears that this rule has extended itself to my discovery of this delicious new species. I only pray that the second rule deems my breakthrough too insignificant, for all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. If it weren't for the size of the pieces, I would say that it looks like eggshell. This must be all that's left of the basement storage. The lock looks rather worse for wear. Which probably means I can just do like this. Kind of like in Silent Hill 1. In the sewers. This. 
fluid, lighter gas. Hello. Let us... Can I just do this? Yeah. This should fire up now. Okay, so we need to light anything. We now have a lighter. What's in here? Battery is perfect. How much? No. 71. Um, that noise. Don't want anyone to come here. This should probably turn off the, the steam. I don't even know if I want to stay down here or go upstairs. Nothing seems like a good option anymore. I think someone's been dragged through here. I've never seen this much blood before. I, that was my best chance to get some answers. I mean, who else is still down here? some time since I recorded any findings in relation to the spiders with whom I have shared my existence for the past eight months, partly due to my enforced retreat from their basement territory. Not too long ago, their behavior became overly aggressive, and so I have attempted to barricade the main entrance to their lair and secured myself within one of the smaller rooms above it, the only one with an operational door lock. The other reason is that I have been recovering from a minor operation which I was forced to conduct myself without the aid of anesthetic. Even if I did have any anesthetic or surgical tools, I couldn't afford to be less than diligent in my work, so anesthetic was out. Surgical tools are all well and good, but although it may be becoming old and rusty, I still trust my penknife to do the job just as well. The procedure itself was elementary enough, a simple amputation of a non-vital organ. I began to notice a thick, glue-like substance forming on my tongue and was forced to accept that it had become infected through constant toxin ingestion. Day 300. Another century of days comes and goes. It seems like so long since I escaped here. At some stage since my last entry I attempted to return from whence I came, that from which I originally was fleeing seems a fate for worse than the one I now face. However, in the time since I arrived from the larger mine system, a cave-in has occurred, blocking any further progress. I was forced to return and accept whatever end life has in store for me. I still hear my aggressive little friends scratching on the door to my... Years and years of reports, logs and files just left here to gather dust. There's probably a century of life and death right here. In it looks like an internal organ, maybe an animal tongue. It's probably, oh my, 
Probably the tongue of the guy. Oh, whoa, whoa. Largest spider I've ever seen with its guts curved. No thanks, no thanks. Uh uh. Screw that. I can already see it coming to life when I touch it. This hole isn't large enough for a man. Not that I would go anywhere near it, even if it was. What buried out this tunnel? Or be. And the rest of the room can just go fucking. We have a key now, and I think that's for the one door that was locked. Well, let's go there. At least the spider noises are gone. Uh -oh. it's Actually, light these things. Yeah. Not sure if that's a good idea, though, because if anything comes by now, it, it would see me. Lock the door. Yes, uh, I agree. Let's this there. Let's put another one there. Have anything else? This. Don't looks good. Oh shit! Holy fucking shit. No, 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 no. My god. Disappointed that these are just quote unquote just dog enemies. Just wait until episode two. There's some seriously fucked up shit in episode two. That might be a good time. Because I, I, I remember I need this. You haven't seen yet why I need it, but. This is something I actually remember. Okay, it's it's back there, so maybe This is because of uh what the guy mentioned in his diary. found it already. This is the, the one and only exit and it is caved in. I love my workshop. It is too great a hunting ground to let others gorge their faces. One cannot help but feel for those without such delicate mousy morsels on which to munch. A red ate ravenously of their flesh today and shall continue to do so. This is possible thanks solely to the button pad I installed on the door. And yet 
Red's mind is working somewhat backwards today. So this seems, seems to be some some guy called Red. And uh, I I forgot about this, but I can already uh, imagine what we have to do here. We're probably going to find some kind of button uh, button pad, and we have to probably enter these numbers, big words. So that would be eight four one two. Let's try to remember that. The shafts caved in here. Could have happened years ago. I shouldn't be risking my life like this. The whole facility could come down around me. Still, if I want to press on, I'll have to clear this obstruction somehow. There must be something left here I could use. Maybe there's still some industrial explosives lying around. Okay, where's the TNT? I'm gonna take this. still need a fuse, so let's go the other way now. But seen some use in their time. Can't have been much fun working down here. In fact, it must have been pretty god awful. Brilliant! One step closer to setting of those explosives without losing any vital body parts. What, what did I find? Oh, a cotton string. Oh no, I hear the spider noise again. looks ancient. It's so old I don't even know what it would have been used for. Neither do I. All the things that you'll be needed all the things that you'll need to be successful as a carpenter. could just be a piece of ice reflecting the light, or more likely my imagination, but something's definitely catching my eye under those rocks. Yeah, I already saw it. There's something. Oh. A pickaxe. Ooh. different but the same that time like I had more control but over what worn and torn yet the edge is sharp to the touch I hope that hole was there before the spiders and not the other way around. Oh, that... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
This is something I vaguely remember. You have to get over this. Wonder if that's already enough. An electric fence, and it's been put up recently. I'd better find a way to get over. But if it's put up, been put up recently, maybe then somebody else is still here. Whoa! I slipped. again. Good to know. Explosives. Huh. This is more like it. Oh, come on. Locked. How am I going to get in there now? The door does look very weak and old. Hmm. I mean, I didn't find any other kind of key. Maybe I can just break it down? Indeed I can. What do we have here? Dynamite. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, nothing too practical here. Perfect, a gunpowder keg. There's only a small hole at the top though, not big enough to reach in. Hmm. Should I? I hope this doesn't blow up. Dry gunpowder, that's what I need. So, what was it? I think the book said something about this. Uh, the, the, you can use a cotton string as a fuse by soaking it in backstring and then uh, soaking that in gunpowder. One fuse ready to go. That's all we need. I think. I mean, we. We already found a TNT uh, barrel and we put it there and now we have a fuse for it as well. We have a lighter. Would be enough. Well, that light doesn't really help. I thought it would some more. Okay, workshop. If we just go west, we will end up in this big part where the creature still is. So I'll go right and then s left and straight. That's safe. Okay, we can also make some noise to distract it. is running faster than I thought. But take cover. I think if you stay there, you actually do blow up. Get out of here. Not much of an opening, but it'll have to do. 
Potholing has always terrified me. When I look back, I can't think what spurred me to go deeper into the mine. Perhaps it was arrogance at still being alive, or something as ridiculous as facing adversity and coming out on top. Now, I know I would have been better off starving or being mauled to death than kick-starting the chain of events that led me to end up here writing to you. I just hope, once you understand my story, you will have what's necessary to put an end to this tale. I certainly didn't. down here are so alien compared to the way sound travels on the surface. That rockfall almost sounded like organic. This is a good spot to stop, and next time we'll find out what's in there. Hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you next time.